Hi artists, today we're going to be creating uh, a Hokai's Eye, um, the wave. So you're going to be creating your own landscape. You guys can feel free to change and adapt this the way you want to, but the rule is it needs to have the four parts of the landscape, which is the background, middle ground, and foreground, and then the horizon line. So that being said, said, let's get started. So first thing we need is our paper. I recommend you put your paper side to side to do so. <clears throat> You'll need a pen and a pencil. I'm gonna start with pencil and then I'll trace with pen. And then I'll use my colored pencils to color in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a horizon line. So we're gonna draw a light with our pencil draw a horizon line. About two thirds from the bottom or one third from the top. And we're gonna add our mountain or Mount Fiji. Fuji, Fiji, I can never say it right. So you're just gonna go up, over, and then back down. You can add a nice wavy line, top, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our wave because this is the focal point of our foreground. So start with a C shape. Now I'm gonna draw another C shape next to it a couple times. And then the fun part is adding zigzags for the waves. So I start with a layer of zigzags. Then I would like to just draw so I know where the back's going to be, another C shape. And then I can go and add the layers of zigzags to make it look like a wave. So they, um, this style at the time in Japanese culture, they really um, believed that each thing has a spirit so these kind of look like fingers they would, would say when i was studying art history we, we looked at this artwork and saw that it almost looked like there were little hands coming out of the water and i can add uh, some zigzags anywhere you like <clears throat> you can make them really go out I think I have enough. So then I can go in, if you'd like, with your eraser and just erase the extra C shapes where you ended. Fix some lines. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add a little wave here. So this is when you can decide and change it up. I just need to see a big wave here. I'm just going to make this a little here on the side. After that, make that a little smaller so it looks a little bit better. <clears throat> After that, you can start adding some little waves if you like, all over the page. I'm starting on this side, getting some zigzags in here. And then, of course, add your C shape below it. And then this is when you can kind of have fun with some curvy or lines, add some peaks of the water, just add some zigzags right on top. So now I have drawn in my waves and some more details. I've added the boats in by drawing kind of triangle shapes with a rectangle on the end. And then I can just go in and finish up my zigzags, kind of give it the look of waves. You can do some big zigzags to make the water look like it's going up or waves are starting to form. <clears throat> After I found that I have my drawing complete, I have placement. I can go in and add details if you'd like to. You can add little people or characters in your boat. So I'm just gonna draw some circles to add later. For that, I'm just gonna trace over my lines. 
And we're going to go ahead and add some wavy lines for the clouds in the sky. And that is basically it for creating your own Hokusai styled artwork. So again, you can just go back in, draw some more details like zigzag lines, add it to make it look more realistic to your favor. And I look forward to seeing these completed drawings. I'll see you guys in the next video for how to add some color.